I'm Andrew Richardson, Assistant Professor of Organismic and Evolutionary Biology at Harvard University. I study how forests interact with climate and respond to environmental change. When we imagine a forest, we picture trees. Trees are a defining feature of forests, but a forest is much more than a collection of trees. A forest is a community of myriad plants, animals, fungi, lichens, and a host of microorganisms. Forest communities extend from the crowns of tall trees, downward through the understory to the forest floor, deep into the soil beneath. So what is a forest? The forest is a community of trees and other organisms. Their interactions with soils, minerals, water, and the atmosphere, and the complex web of relationships that bind them together. Hello, my name is Donald Feaster. I'm a professor of systematic botany at Harvard University, and I've always been fascinated with forest communities and how they work. How do forests work? Forests occupy one-third of the Earth's land area and are home to over two-thirds of the world's species. Forests have adapted to a wide variety of environments. They dominate the humid tropics, flourish throughout temperate landscapes, and skirt the edge of the Arctic. Forests cling to mountaintops and endure near-desert conditions. Wherever they are found, forests are critical players in the biosphere, recycling essential nutrients, regulating our water supply, storing carbon, and influencing weather and climate. So, how do forests work? Forests influence climate on a local and global scale. Forests absorb more solar radiation than most other types of land cover provide shade and moderate the effects of wind, and add moisture to the atmosphere through transpiration. But even more important is their pivotal role in the global carbon cycle. Carbon is an essential component of all living things, and forests are key to the biological processes that drive the global carbon cycle. Forests remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through a process called photosynthesis. This carbon is stored in living tissues such as leaves, wood, and roots. When trees die, the carbon is stored as dead organic matter in the soil. As this organic matter decomposes, carbon dioxide is released back into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is known as a greenhouse gas because it blocks long-wave radiation, or heat, from escaping into space. Forests can influence climate by affecting the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In tropical forests, nearly all of the carbon is stored in live vegetation. But in temperate and boreal forests, much of the carbon is sequestered underground. This is especially true in the far north, where most of the carbon is locked up in the peatlands and permafrost beneath great expanses of boreal forest. Rapidly growing forests are known as carbon sinks because they absorb and store more carbon than they release. As a result, they help to cool down the atmosphere and the climate. When forests are burned, the carbon they contain immediately escapes back into the air. When forests are harvested, the organic materials in the exposed soils begin to decompose, and the carbon is gradually released as carbon dioxide, which traps heat and warms the surface of the planet. Because of their role in the carbon cycle, forests directly influence levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide and thus global climate. Water is essential to life, and forests play a vital role in the natural processes that conserve and purify this critical resource. Water is continually circulating through the Earth's system. Trees and other forest vegetation hold soil in place and allow it to absorb precipitation. Infused with soil nutrients, some water is taken up by tree roots and transpired via the leaves back into the atmosphere. Surplus water slowly percolates deeper into the soil, replenishing underground aquifers and draining into surface streams, rivers, and lakes. A forested area that traps precipitation and channels water through a network of streams into major rivers and lakes is known as a watershed. Over 50% of our nation's water supply comes from forested watersheds. 
These forests reduce erosion and sediment runoff and filter and purify the water that makes its way into our homes and businesses.